Good day, this is the ex student AV8B area. I'm doing a short flight here in Air Force Air Force Base. Beautiful morning. Um, airspace around Edwards is now under my control, my option to fly around here. No one else. I can do what I want. And what I want to do is uh, jump takeoff. Few traffic patterns around the area. Uh, short foot landings. Jump takeoff again. Then a vertical landing. Uh, I dump fuel before I go to vertical landing. We taking off with uh, amount of fuel without any weapons loaded. There's no weapons at the hard store. Uh, you see right now is the engine nozzle uh, and the veins, boards, uh, everything is covered. We can go to the plugins and uh, remove before flight. Uh, everything is away. Pilots sitting in this. Here we are. I do this from memory, I don't need a checklist here. Um, next time I do uh, step by step with a checklist uh, about the functionality. Uh, first I must say the INS alignment, you don't need here in any INS alignment. Um, I set it up before. Um, generally you have to put in the battery, plug in the cable or a trench cable or the battery uh, ground power and or you can start the engine put in the MFD data then the coordinate lat longitude mag variation magnetic variation wind where comes the wind from and the speed also altitude if you and the carrier you need the wind magnetic variation as well but wind and wind speed on the ground, you don't need it. You can um, do that. You can put it in, but you must not do that. That is in from the real area. Okay, uh, inside is I uh, put it the fuel shutter valve down. Then first the battery. Uh, check the fuel. Seven thousand six hundred fuel total. Okay, battery comes here on. Master warning, caution is not. Uh, check it uh, first. Everything lights up here. And next step is the shutter valve. Oxygen is already forward. Full pump. Left and right forward. Verify. Fuel temp is off, left and right. You can put in the nozzle out. I check. For air to air refueling, but I don't do that. Might be in the next step I can do that. Air to air refueling probe in. Okay. Position like anti collision like and. Uh, uh, just uh, stop all pitch and yaw. Other pilot is off. A boat like you need it is on. Uh, anti skid. Uh, if it on is uh, is I must hold a button to make a left and right turn. It say cast. Is is uh, is this different here? When I put it to nose wheel steering, I have uh, two options. Um, I can turn normally, or I can make uh, a small turn radius by clicking a, a certain button on my stick. But it's not implement here. <coughs> what I'm doing is now is the. 
on, VTool is on, head up display, okay, generator is on, okay, I'm going for starting the engine, okay, right is clear, left is clear, I call, count, carry if everything is clear, cleared for start, starting the engine now, I think it's pulling up. Parking brake is set here, yeah. Also to 10 degrees. I don't want to melt my flap. Flap is at the moment 25. You can see the nozzle here can easily melt. That's why exhaust is about 10 degrees down. Okay, uh, first we're doing a jump takeoff. Oh, uh, we're heavy. Uh, 60 degrees will be fine. We don't need uh, HPO water injection. But what I must say, I miss some stuff. Uh, one stuff is like the ball um, that I see the rudder, where my rudder is. Uh, is it left or right? I, I, I can only push the rudder, but I don't see it. In the ritual mode, you have a ball with a steer, like cast, as it says, arrested. You need to click a button to steer the nozzle. Or you can um, see when you're hovering uh, where the flex master body is left or, or right. But you don't see that in this. Uh, what I'm setting up on the right side is uh, what they set up in real life. It's right, it's the engine base on the left side, the head up display. Head up display in, in, in case of head up display still. Then I have to head up this play on my MFT. Okay, what I'm doing now, I'm closing the canopy. Okay, it's latched. Okay, keep it to INS. EFA, is it like GPS uh, alignment? Um, but I don't think it's have a factor here. Uh, put it on NAV. Okay, what I set it up is here, the Tekken, that was the Air Force Base Tekken, on uh, 111, they must press set and click the number, enter, but verify if it's on or off. If it's off, you don't get any, and otherwise is, um, if you need a different mode, air to air, or Receiver, receivers for the tanker. Uh, no correction, you know, receivers for the tanker. Receivers receive the receiver down, and the other is uh, for um, uh, the other attack can. A tanker can set up a tank and uh, can uh, approach it with this. Okay, I'm going to release the brakes. Shuttle up. Um, the aging going a bit quick part here is 100% it should not go so high. Okay, 120, put the off of back, 60 degrees, put back to 15 degrees. I miss it a carrot here for 15 degrees. Okay, put the gear up. Gear is coming up and gradually now the nozzle moved to 1900. Uh, I don't know if, if it is normal, okay, but this is a bit strange. Okay, put it back to 50. Okay, the stop lever, 
uh, have a function, but it's not really. I decrease here the power. Okay, going for 25. And bring up from auto, from store to auto. auto. Okay, what I'm doing now is to make a short fit landing here. Um, <coughs> the funny thing is, I had uh, a strange but a trim. I must set it off. If it uh, if it off, uh, example, I put it to 10 degrees. I'll show. Uh, it is uh, very hard when you have a high speed or if the flap I put it like more than three quarter to the left yeah. the control ability is and I'm fully right okay they put it back and it's going itself neutral it's, it's, it's controllability is when the autopilot flight control is off this is strange way. If it off, I can move it, hold it, easy to turn. I think that some accommodation, uh, something is what makes not. Okay, okay what I'm doing now is, is a short fit landing here. I'm simulating approaching the Tarawa, the LH1. I pick up the runway 350 knots at 1000 radar altimeter. I cannot set up here the radar altimeter. I can set it up, but it's show me the MSL, Minty level. Um, but it's, it's not uh, right. I'm not in 3200, I'm uh, like uh, 1000 feet above. Count that wise. Okay, let's just leave it. I fly parametric. Okay. Approaching by 10 nozzle. Put it down to auto. Three fifty uh, spot my landing. Field and throttle back and going for 35 putting 3G release a bit going for 90 zero, 090 zero. okay a little throttle here put the gear down on. going for north of 50 50 gears down okay we're ready for a short for the landing stall is set when you in hover you want to make a hover landing and you fly slow you should max bank angle is about 15 degrees you should not go beyond 15 degrees shooting here going for 60 okay must down a bit to counter 60 and check my stow is not engage going for 75 I don't need the water injection Normally I don't need it, but the engine going quick hot. Okay, going for 80. <laughs> 85. A little more power. Hold manage it only with the power settled down here. Yeah. 
Okay, travel back. Nautil, leave it by 50 and. Gears coming up. Okay. Not see anything here. More and more darker. Okay, going for 25. Wait until my flaps going up. Doing another short for the landing. I'll just stay at 250. Don't go beyond 250. 3300. Looking good here. Okay, keep 50 nautical. We already on stall. Check and verify. Yeah. Install. Go on a right turn. Put my gear down. Not to 60 degrees, keep up to 11 degrees, maximum 11 degrees to bleed the speed. I'm doing an easy left turn here, 15 degrees bank angle, reducing to 75 here, play a bit a lower speed here. Okay, reducing the 50 degrees bank exit to avoid a stall or overcut. Maintain 15 degrees bank angle. You can more 15 degrees, uh, but becomes unstable. The trust is not really in the right direction. Rolling out here. Using the 70. Okay, put my flight path velocity marker. But in the area is not a flight path velocity marker. It's a. I didn't remember the name exactly. But in the manual, say exactly what the name is. Vector or something else, uh, I didn't remember exactly. Forgive me, do not know exactly the name of this. Okay, going for 75 here. We are good to do a little sh slower here. 115, 114. Okay, travel forward a bit. Okay, keep it to 50 and going around. Yep. I'm not looking down at why the Taka are going away. Going for 45 speed, looking good. I'm going for 25. Okay, the next step is to fuel tamp down to 6,500. Oh, 6,000 already. Okay. 6,000. Okay, verify that your flaps. Nostal 100. I'll go to nostal 10. Flaps. Uh, let's do a fuel tank here. Not 
ten. Get a bit faster here. Rolling out. Going to cruise mode. And 400. Yeah, I'll leave it 400. Okay. Autopilot control is off. Otherwise, this might be coupled with the core selector. And uh, he want to hold something. It's always against fact in my input. I don't know why. Okay. Dumping fuel. Don't make it slower. I have the permission in real life. Okay. Dump me about six down. Okay, it's correct. Six down. And full time switch going to off. I think the real area is the spring load is going automatically to off. But it's good to check if it's going off. Okay, leave it 10 degrees, going for auto mode. And try another one. Going down to 3000. Max 400, lows 350. Would be nice when I have the NASA livery. I saw it, but yeah, but there's no, there's no NASA livery. Oops, going back to the aircraft here. I don't want to crash into the ground here. What can we just here? A bit of brightness. Flyby, 180, 90, and we're using for short field landing, and that, that should go again for another one. Going for 3,000, 100 is standing. Okay, here comes the temperature. Oh, there's, I mean, in this speed, the temperature uh, it's a bit high, in my opinion. I'm not a real area pilot but I mean it makes sense when you have a high speed airflow around cooling down but I'm not really a area pilot okay not all coming 25 25 uh, going for short field Back here, zero nine zero. Going for fifty. I'm going to check to sixty, sixty-five. Okay, make a left turn. Little bar. Here comes the gear. In my opinion, the diesel rating is a bit uh, slow. It's just, just like uh, you need time, but I can live with them. I mean, I'm not a real Harrier pilot. I'm only a virtual pilot. And I feel the angle of the nozzle is not in the right place. Few degrees, I think about five or ten degrees off. I'll tell you why later than when I'm doing a short fill after the short fill landing a vertical landing. Okay, we're using about max fifteen V slow on speed. Seventy-five. I 
And I try as slow as possible here with my weight. Channel, I have a table where I can find and figure out what is my speed for the current weight and fuel. Okay, we have 5700. Ancient temperature coming. We can the lowest is about 100. Get without any trouble. So I don't have the fuel. H2 or the water on. Okay, the velocity marker where I want to touch down and play with the shuttle to stay on the Clyde. For the pitch decrease, increasing your speed. The same when you do a vertical landing. Okay, doing a touch. After the touched, dumping fuel. Okay. Throttle back and uh, going for 50. And here comes the throttle again. And airborne. Going for 15 degrees. Okay. Um, as I say, I miss you the carrot. 15 degrees. That's the same formation. Uh, what pitch I can do. I can turn it up. Okay. I keep my nostril 25. I want to accelerate here. I'm playing with the velocity and my speed. Not descend. I want to climb 3,500. Make a left turn. I go for 10. Now here comes the auto. Accelerate here. And the uh, fuel tank down to. 4,500. 4,500 fuel, we should be able to do a vertical landing. Okay. Uh, don't do it in the real world. Yeah. Just slam your ass. <laughs> it's not allowed to fuel desert dumping fuel area. Okay, 4,500 bingo, okay, 4,500 is set, looking good. Okay, we do our first vertical landing. Okay, going in. for auto mode after that we make a flyby aiming for our landing spot so we met uh, 305 the training squadron have in the manual exactly how they do I do a similar the same okay overflow the area here 350 At 3,000, we're sending to 3,000. Yeah, it would be nice when we have a radar altimeter. Two four zero. Okay, rolling out two six zero then. Uh, 
350 and it breaks out but I leave it in and 35 and we talk using two fifty below here comes the gear fifty nautical here comes the sixty nautical I'm a beam okay time 15 second Okay going for 75 and turning in fifteen degrees bang angle maximum Climb on the steady descent. Going for eighty. Two thousand eight hundred. I don't put it in the computer here doing it manual. But in general I don't need it at that fuel with out any loadouts on the aircraft. The heavier. Eighty five. Okay, I'm approaching. Slowing down to fifty knots. Dream it out. The final is that I'm not flying straight to my landing spot. You don't fly in the Tarava Olds or straight to the landing spot. You're going 45 degrees to the left by banking maximum 15 degrees on the shipboard side here. Ah, uh, forgive me, I'm not sure if starboard or board. I say left side. Okay, I pick up here some trust. We're using my speed here. Gladly. I want to land on the threshold. Yeah, and I miss it here the the water ball. Okay. Where my input is on the water. Okay, slowing down here. But uh, okay, you must quick doing a uh, flight velocity marker. Not working exactly. It's not working with like a speed. Yeah. Um, you must check how fast you're traveling forward or backward. It's going up when you go forward. It's going down when you go backward. Okay, I'm... 87 nostril, okay, looking good. I'm, I'm a little bit too short here. I want to land on the mark here. I travel with two knots forward. Trim out a bit. 
going for um, yeah, 75. I would get 85 here, but it's okay. I leave it. A little extra power here. And touchdown. Okay, that's it, the first uh, retool. And nozzle back to 10 degrees. Doing a jump takeoff. That's fun, yeah? It's I was reading in the form that uh, it's a little slacker. Yes, it's slacker. Yeah, it's. Uh, <laughs> I must say, uh, I have not a, uh, no experience in real life with the Harrier. I have another experience with uh, other Harrier uh, in a simulation, but not with this. Uh, we told set we're going for 55 here. We don't have so much weight. I decrease down my to 30 to the 3000 can do 50 55 ah to 50 okay to our lap another one and not a vertical landing hundred and Okay, I'm already on bingo. Back gear 15, nozzle back to 25. 25, going to auto mode. Not a short foot landing. Okay, we're using here the fifty. Just here. Okay, put the gear down here. Sixty. And an easy left turn. Fifteen degrees. Fifteen degrees is this way. Down to two thousand eight hundred. Okay, here comes another flaps. Flaps completely out. Always check your bank angle. No, we far away. We can leave it 60 nautil. Plenty distance to bleed off the speed for a vertical landing. But I must say, when you fly to the Tarawa, you have a forward speed itself from the ship, you need a different nautil. You cannot make the same nautil when you to completely zero vertical landing you need about 75 70 depend on the ship speed okay here comes nozzle back I'm one down to 
60 knots. Okay, my minimum is now 2,500. 60 knots. Play with the nostril to hold it. Okay, drifting to the left. Maximum 15 degrees bank angle. On the left side of the ship. I say it before, sorry, I not know starboard or board side of the ship. Okay, that was a quick stop. Eighty five accelerating forward. Few seconds on the nostril and just stop the quick in the lower speed. Okay, ten knots maximum. Okay, diesel rating with 5 knots. Looking for my Dutch sun zone here. 7 knots, 3 knots, 85, 2 knots. Okay. Going down the right side here. Okay, looking good. Correcting here. And settle down. Okay, 87 nostril is more or less. Okay, a little power here. And settle down here. Yeah, you must correct also the wind if you have a wind component, headwind. Then is the speed not zero, then is the speed a different. Okay, one other one for virtual vertical landing. Oh, what do we do? We're doing a vertical takeoff. Okay, vertical takeoff 2100 pounds, we have more or less. Okay, travel up. Not much. Oh, okay. Also must be 85. In this case here, you should not go in back. That's 87. That one is uh, that's a sim. Uh, few disagree in the nozzle. Okay, gear going for 60. Travel back a bit. Accelerating. Drip out my plane. Yeah, one time before I saw the stabilizer was going up, down, up, down. I don't know why. Have to do with the auto flight control system or I am not sure. Check this out as well. Okay, and doing a left turn. I 
1,500 is threshold. Threshold. Going down three thousand. Strike. Okay, now for ten. Auto. And this is a full stop now. But this is speed 350 max. Two thousand eight hundred. Two thousand eight hundred. Three thousand. Stay three thousand. Three fifty, three mount a bit. And the left one here. Total comes fifty. Lever is in the back, okay. All in out, CSXU. Check the lever in the back, okay. All in out, CSXU. Model 60. Here comes the gear. 75, I'm like well the fast here. Okay, 60. <coughs> 65 nostril. 15 degrees bank. Bank angle, you don't want to uh, overbank. Okay, going for 60. Seventy. Okay, we now have full flaps. We overshoot a bit. Seventy-five. Reducing my speed about sixty. Faster is no drop. I'm just jamming a bit. The fifty knots and simulating going off the ship here. It is seven. Ok, 
very turn off a bit too fast here. This looks quite better. Yep, bingo fuel. Thank you. Okay, four knots. And going to the right side here. Up here. Oh, that's, that was a quick and settle down here. Aim from a landing spot. We look few seconds to the side. We're making few knots forward. That was good. Good trim out. The hell. Okay, settle down here. Yeah. Okay. Ten knots. Ah, uh, ten degrees. North for. And. Uh, Oh, the tech signal right side here out. That was a short fun with the uh, area and X plane. Nice. Yeah. Oh, uh, standby red flag and wheel. Not working. I don't know how to uncage this to bring it up to work. Okay, I'm um, texting to parking here and hand off my area to the ground crew for repairing or checking engine stuff. How badly I've flown this thing. Okay, starting quick. Okay, hope you enjoy that. And uh, see you next time.